Today I'm going to be cooking uh, rolitos to begin with. Uh, the rolitos are a dish which I've grown up with since I was a little boy and it's something my granny used to make quite often. So the rolitos are thin slices of beef and they're all stuffed and rolled together and uh, kept together with some cocktail sticks and stewed in a tomato sauce with white wine, served in an almond sauce together with some delicious fluffy mashed potatoes. So now that you know what it is, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to begin with is our stuffing. First thing you need to do is get your ingredients for that. So it's going to be two uh, boiled eggs. We're going to need some roasted peppers and some olives. We're going to chop them up very finely because we're going to use this to stuff the rolito. And then we're going to roll it all up and carry on with the next stage. So first, let's just grab everything and chop it all up. So we'll get our boiled eggs and we'll chop it all up quite finely. Cut it very small because we need to stuff at least six slices of beef is what we're going to use today and uh, to get the beef if you go to the butchers you can ask for rolito meat you just go to your local butcher say i want to make rolitos they'll, they'll know what you're talking about and you can ask for at least two slices per person you can work it out if you don't have a local butchers and you're going to go in the uk or anywhere abroad you can ask for top side beef and thinly thinly sliced top side beef is perfect for that and get at least two or three roasted peppers and just finely chop these down as well. They'll be nice and soft because they would be in the, you know, soaked up in the jar with the oil and everything. So, and finally, the olives. You can get a handful of olives. Really depends how, how much you like them. I really like olives, so I put quite a bit. There's a large variety of colors in this dish, so it's very nice visually enhancing it's very appetizing when you're making it and it's nice to have some vibrancy in, in your dishes. It's, it's nice to keep a, a set, a range of colors in, in your food. So just, just chop this up very finely. You, know, you can get a range of, of olives. You can use black olives, green olives, uh, stuffed. In this case, I use some stuffed ones. You can use them from the tin, but it should be fine. And that is what we're going to use for our stuffing, as well as some ham. I'm going to use at least two or three slices of ham. We're going to roll them up quite tightly and we'll just slice them across like this. This is now ready to be used as a stuffing for your meat. So we'll put this to one side. This is the meat that you need, top side beef wonderfully thin like this it's perfect you can roll it up you know it's nice to handle uh, be careful because if it is too thin it can break so it's nice if you can see there at least that sort of thickness a couple millimeters so grab your meat place it in front of you and with a spoon just get little bits of each of the ingredients for your stuffing and just lay them out on your meat like so and now that you have you know a generous amount there we'll just roll it carefully rolling it upwards and when you see it's all nicely tight and rolled just get a cocktail stick or two and poke it through the ends and let it come out the other side this will keep it from opening when you stew it later on and continue to do all pieces of meat. I have six pieces of meat here, which is enough to feed about two or three people. To go with your dish, you can make some potatoes on the side, some chips, uh, you can mash them, or you can even serve it with rice. I prefer mashed potatoes because if you put the sauce over it, it all mixes up. It's just really, really enjoyable. Once your potatoes are all nicely chopped, boil it all up to it's soft, mash them up with some butter and some milk to make them nice and creamy, and serve it next to our rolitos. Now for what is arguably the best part of the rolitos, 
it's time to prepare our sauce. So we'll begin the sauce for the rollitos, and we need to make a refrito first. And uh, we'll get our garlic. We're going to chop two to three pieces of garlic very finely. This will uh, fry along with some onions. And when they become translucent, we'll add the tomato and continue with the rest of the sauce. So before starting to chop your onions, we're going to pour in a bit of oil in your pan so that this heats up in the meantime and then when, when everything is chopped you just pour it straight in there and it should start frying. Get your onion, dice it nice and thinly. Now, this is the base to any refrito which is great and you can use uh, whole tomatoes as well, a couple of whole tomatoes in your refrito if you want a bit of a thicker sauce. Um, I'm going to use chopped tomatoes or titurado, which is uh, very well known here. And it's, you know, everything's already blended. It's nice and simple to use. It's a lot easier, a lot quicker to make your sauces. This, get one onion, but if you see that your onion is very large, this one is quite large, so I'm going to use three quarters of it. Oh, my eyes. It's always a bit of a hazard when you're cutting onions. Oof. And then, um, yeah, just pour this straight into your pot where your oil is now nice and hot and ready to fry as soon as it gets in there. Carefully pour bits at a time. See, you can hear it already. And that will reduce anyway as it fries. We'll just stir it, make sure it's all covered, and leave it there for a little bit until it becomes a bit translucent, shrinks down, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, your refrito's made, it's all nice and tender, it's all uh, translucent. So we're going to move ahead to the next step, which is to pour in your tomato. About 400 grams should be fine for three to four pieces of rolitos. But since I'm using a bit more, I'm going to use 800, because it never hurts to have a bit more tomato sauce. And if you have too much anyway, you can reduce it down later. Uh, stir that in, pour in your 100 grams of ground almonds, because we're going to have a nice nutty almondy sauce. Stir that in, mix it all up in there. We're going to get a nice bunch of parsley and finally break it in there. Season it with a bit of salt and a glass of white wine. Pour all that in there. If you see that it's a bit too watery, can also add in a handful of breadcrumbs into your sauce. Stir that in, stir everything in there, and add in your rolitos, which are now ready. They're all wrapped up, and just place them in there one at a time, space them out in your pot. Cover it with a splash of water. So your meat's in there, we'll cover it up, we'll check back in 20-25 minutes, your meat should be tender, brown, nice and soft and ready to eat. So as our rolitos stew away in their sauce, it's time to move on to our next dish. So as times are getting cooler, the perfect, one of the perfect dishes to make is pea soup. It's thick, it's rich, uh, especially with the gammon in there. It, it's hearty, it's warm, it's exactly what you need at the start of autumn. First thing we need to do is get our ingredients and we need to make sure that we soak one of them first. We need 500 grams of yellow split peas and we need to soak these overnight first just to drain out any you know, uh, dirt or rubbish they might have on them when they're, before they're packed from the factory. So 
We'll soak them overnight, they'll soften up a bit, and then we'll drain them before using them. We need two tomatoes, three or four carrots, one onion, you can cut it in half. If it's a very, very big onion, use a bit less than the whole one. And 500 grams of gammon. We'll chop this up and we'll put everything in a dish together with some mint. We'll boil it all up, wait until it all softens. We'll separate the gammon from it and blend it all together so it's nice and creamy and the chunks of gammon stay whole in there, but tender and soft. So we'll chop our ingredients first. We'll start with the carrots. We'll cut the ends off and we'll just slice them down into chunks. Doesn't matter if they're quite big because everything's gonna go in a blender anyway. We just want it to soften down a bit and tenderize while we boil it in our big pan. So as I said before, three to four carrots, cut them up nice and chunky and pour these straight into a big pan. And we're gonna use a pan, it's quite deep. About a liter of water should cover everything. Get your two tomatoes, cut the ends off. And if you can, try and peel them because we don't, we don't really want the skin in there. A nice trick to peel tomatoes, if you have time and if you're not in a rush to do anything, is boil them up first and steam them a little bit. That way the skin will loosen up from the flesh of the tomatoes and it's a lot easier to peel as you go. And then just dice them up and throw these in the pan with your carrots. Nothing really has to be cut uh, small. Your onions can be cut quite large. Everything is just gonna be boiled in there. So grab your drained yellow split peas, make sure there's no water in there, and just pour this into your pan. Make sure you get everything. Get a handful of mint. Just break it up. We don't wanna really cut it up. So just break it up, pour it in there. And, and your gammon, cut it in half because we don't really, or quarters because we don't really want it that big. It will shrink slightly anyway when, you, when it boils and it all stews. Add this and cover everything with boiling water. You might need to have two kettles full. Just make sure everything is completely covered and place this on your hob. Add a medium heat or so and leave it there for about 20 minutes until it's all tender and then we'll move on to the next step.